In this presentation, we'll be talking about extreme pumping challenges on a single common force main and how to overcome them. I'm Brady with Smith & Loveless and we've been providing pumping solutions for more than 70 years. We'll walk you through a new answer to this extreme pumping problem called force main sink. In extreme pumping conditions, engineers and municipalities are faced with variable flow conditions from multiple pump stations feeding a common force main. When adding a new pump station into the same force main, the design challenges can be complex. Variable flow hydraulics and pump control are critical elements to ensure consistent flow in the force main. Before we jump to the extreme pumping, let's go over the basics. A sewer force main is a pressurized pipeline that conveys wastewater from a lower to a higher elevation using pumps housed in pump stations. When there are multiple pump stations feeding the line or when multiple lines are interconnected, it becomes a common force main. Common force mains experience varying, complex, and extreme hydraulic conditions. A typical answer for these complex pumping conditions is to oversize a centrifugal pump, which has been designed to compensate for the variable conditions by yielding different flows. Let's take a look at pump curves to get a better idea. In this example, a new pump station rated at 300 gallons per minute is being designed to feed into an existing common force main already fed by four other pump stations. The variable hydraulic conditions in the common force main mean that the new pump station must handle a range of 20 to 60 feet of total dynamic head. The high head condition of 60 feet represents when the other four pump stations on the force main are all running. The low head condition of 20 feet represents when no other pump station is pumping, except for the new pump station. Different pressures are in the common force main which can dramatically impact pumping efficiencies. This constant pressure change moves this into the extreme pumping category. If these extreme pumping conditions in the common force main are unchecked, these variable flow conditions can force the duty pump to operate outside of normal or safe operating conditions and result in problems like pump runout, pump flow reductions, and pump cavitation. Historically, there are ways system designers attempt to avoid these issues, including adding flow restrictors to limit pump runout, adding automatic flow control valves to control flow, adding magnetic flow meters to discharge lines with control feedback loops. The most common way to avoid the issue is to oversize the pumps, the motors, and the piping to meet the condition ranges. The downside? These extra patches force the pump station to vary from its optimal design conditions, causing significant losses in pump efficiency. All of these methods can be costly, complex, and bulky. All common force mains face extreme pumping conditions in attempting to maintain a consistent flow. Now, a simple computer program called Force Main Sync by Smith & Loveless can monitor the hydraulics in the common force main and keep the pump station pumping at the flow rate required to maintain a consistent flow. Drawing upon vast hydraulic and pumping system design expertise, Smith & Loveless engineers developed Force Main Sync to continually read the force main's condition and simply adjust pump speeds to meet the changing flow conditions. This is in comparison to the traditional answer of an oversized pump station providing variable flows which have very inefficient pumping rates. With force main sync, the result is consistent, efficient design rates, and consistent flows into the common force main. The product is so simple that it is programmed into the Everlast Wet Well Mounted Pump Station's QuickSmart PLC controls. Smith & Loveless put Force Main Sink into field operation at an industrial site in East Texas. A new Everlast pump station was designed to discharge into interconnected common force main with multiple pump station and variable hydraulic conditions. The facility's 4-inch force main was more than 1,000 feet in length and interconnected to the city's 24-inch common force main fed by dozens of pump stations from numerous facilities in the area. Because of the city's extreme and variable common force main conditions, the new 100 GPM pump station had to be designed to 110 feet of total dynamic head. Force main sink was the simple and affordable solution that allowed the new pump station to efficiently maintain 100 gallons per minute despite the wide-ranging hydraulic conditions in the large common force main. 
Because the Everlast pump station resides above ground, the facility's operators are able to safely and quickly confirm flow data from the QuickSmart controller's graphical interface. The pump station is maintaining a consistent flow as designed. Common force mains no longer have to be considered extreme pumping conditions with force main sync. Learn more about how Smith & Loveless is using its hydraulic and pump control expertise to provide its clients with simple, reliable, and efficient wastewater pumping solutions like Force Main Sink and Everlast Wet Well Mounted Pump Stations. Visit smithandloveless.com pumping to learn more.